Using this app changed my life. I went from being anxious all the time, feeling stressed and losing so much time mindlessly scrolling on social media to having a healthy digital routines and a better handle on my time. And this is how I built this app. Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Bacola, software developer and content creator who recently built an app that has helped me save five hours every single day. But let's rewind to talk about how we even got here. So if you're not familiar with my channel, I am a self-taught developer who broke into the industry seven years ago. My first three years working in the tech industry, I was a software developer. And then a few years later, I became a developer advocate and worked at a top tech company for over two and a half years. And a year ago, I quit my job to take an adult gap year to rest and to focus on my passion projects. During my gap year, something I started to realize was how crazy and how much my screen time was increasing. Instead of filling those 40 hours a week, spending more time with my family and friends, putting more time into my passion projects or just resting, I was spending all my time on social media, specifically TikTok. And for me, this was a problem, not just because of the amount of time I was spending on social media, but because after using social media, I would feel much worse than I felt before going on social media. For example, if I use TikTok in the morning immediately after waking up, which is what I was doing in the beginning of my sabbatical, it would ruin my entire day because either I'd come across content that was annoying. Like for example, while I was unemployed, I came across a lot of people who were also taking a gap year, but then they would be towards the end of their gap year stressing out about finding a job, which was not the energy I wanted during my gap year. So either I would come across content that would really upset me or trigger me, or I would be having so much fun on social media that I would just feel like I was getting overstimulated, like dopamine was being injected into my brain. And that overstimulation was not healthy for me. And I could tell that my consistent use of social media, specifically TikTok, was not the way I wanted to use my time. So the first thing I did was I tried to look for solutions that would help me manage my screen time better. I tried Apple's inbuilt screen time, but I felt like it was not powerful enough for me, especially when it came to apps like TikTok. I would be notified that like, oh, your time limit is up, but it would be so easy to just click the button to just get 15 more minutes or click the button to just get an hour. I tried other screen time apps, but I felt like they still were missing just a few key features. So I decided why not build the app that I wanna see? So I built it and now I use it every single day and it's helping me save five hours a day. And this is a solution I built. When you log into the app, you see the home screen. The entire app is focused on helping you reach your screen time goal, which you set during the onboarding stage. For me, I like to use my phone for less than five hours every single day, and the home screen gives you a bird's eye overview about how you're doing today based on your screen time goal. You also have a chart that lets you know the hours you use the phone the most, and the top five apps that you use frequently, and the time you spend on each app. The routines page is the most important page. The goal of this page is to help you establish automated, healthy screen routines. For me, the routines that I really love and I use every day are my calm morning routine and my evening wind down routine. These are the times that if I use my phone, my day is ruined. If I use my phone in the morning, I'm anxious and overstimulated and I'm not productive throughout the day. If I use my phone in the evening, social media is just too addictive that I'll miss my bedtime and that will ruin my sleep. If I also have social media on in the evening too and I wake up in the middle of the night and I have access to TikTok, I'm not going back to sleep. That also affects my sleep. Ideally, you'd want to block the most addictive apps and websites during the time where you really shouldn't be using your phone. Personally, I block every app except for messages, FaceTime, and phone call, making my phone a dumb phone. The blocking that offline does is the strictest blocking that you can do on your iPhone. When you go to the app page, you really can't access the page at all. If you want to access the app, you'd have to go back into offline, go into the routine, and pause the blocking session. But there are barriers even in pausing the blocking session. You have to wait five seconds for the pause button to be active. It only gets unpaused for five minutes. This is enough friction that you might decide not to even pause the routine. You can take the blocking up another level and go on strict mode, which I use for my evening and morning routines, which means you cannot pause these routines. You'd have to basically delete the entire session to access the app, which for me is too much friction that I'll just keep the routines running and abide by the routines. So it's a very strict and automated way that forces you to keep your hands off addictive apps that waste your time. And for me, it's really helped me reduce the amount of time I spend on my phone. So check it out if you're interested. It's a freemium product. Part of the app is free. Part of the app is premium. And you'll get seven days free on the premium feature if you click the link down below. And I hope you enjoy the app. But let me talk about how I actually built this app. 
before I even build this app, I've always been curious about Swift and iOS development. It's always seemed very fun and cool. I use apps every day. There are so many apps I pay for that I feel like have changed my life for the better. So I've always been interested in apps and app development, but I always felt like because I had my day job, plus I was doing content creation, it was really hard for me to find the time to learn iOS development. But now with quitting my job, I had time to learn iOS development. So I started first by taking this Stanford iOS development course as the first way for me to learn iOS development. About three weeks into taking the course, I realized that I wanted to get started on building this idea because if I wanted to complete the course, it would be a total of like 15 weeks, I believe. And I felt like I could learn iOS development even faster through building this project. So I hopped right into the building process. The first step for me was just to research if it was even possible to build this app. I had seen other apps on in the app store that do the core function of blocking. So I knew it was possible, but I wanted to see if it was possible for me to build it, if it wasn't too complicated. And that was the case because Apple has a screen time API. So once I found out that it was possible to build this, the next process for me was just doing paper mockups and Canva mockups. So I just wanted to have a general idea of what the homepage would look like and what the routines page would look like. Once I had a rough idea of what the homepage would look like and what the routines page would look like, then I decided to just Google every piece of building this app to create an MVP. And for me, the minimal viable product, the MVP, just had to have a way for people to log in, to see their homepage, and to create a routine to block apps. And to actually build each piece, I would just use Google and YouTube. I would just type in, how do you create a login page with Swift? And these two YouTubers were really, really helpful for me, as well as this website. And just by following these tutorials, I was able to really make a lot of progress on the app and get to the point of finished MVP, which is what I shared with you guys in a video over three months ago. The reason I shared the MVP with y'all was because I wanted to know, was it worth it to invest more time and money into building this project to see if people would actually want to use this project and the answer was yes i shared the mvp in a youtube video i got a lot of email signups from you all and with those email signups i could see that this project was something that a lot of you would be interested in so once the mvp was done i wanted to make this project even better more professional i decided to hire a designer the designer was a really key part of this process because she made the app much more beautiful than even i had even thought it could look like she also added features that I didn't even think to add. So she really took the project from just a very minimal viable like MVP to something that was professional and could be launched. The next but extremely important step was implementing the design and this took much longer than I expected. It took over two months to implement the design. Because I didn't have Swift experience and because the designer had complicated design that she wanted us to implement, it was actually a really hard process. Like things that would be very simple for an experienced iOS developer took weeks to do because remember I only had three weeks of taking that class so every small feature I was googling every single detail. Then there were roadblocks I faced with Apple, Apple giving entitlement issues, the Apple API that the app is based on messing up, Apple's documentation not being complete with a lot of missing parts. There were a lot of roadblocks faced but three months later we got to the launch period which was a huge relief and I launched the app to the email list, started on social media and now I'm excited to say that we actually have 700 users on the app which is a huge deal for me like I'm super proud of that I use the app every day it's changed my life and I hope that this is an app that can also impact other people in a positive way and help people manage and bring down their screen time so again if you're interested check it out down below you can get a seven day free trial if you're interested and you can see if it works well for you it was definitely an enjoyable process but the roadblocks were very very hard some of the roadblocks were really causing me a ton of stress and anxiety like even though I enjoyed coding I was like do I want to go back to software development like it was a very tough process to overcome some of these roadblocks and now I have a few Q&A's from you guys you guys asked me a bunch of questions about the process of building and developing this app I wanted to you know invest back into your app development journey and share anything I've learned so you can also launch an app too if you're curious so I'm really excited to answer them so one of the first questions was share all the resources I used of course the Stanford iOS class these YouTubers have amazing tutorials that are very easy to follow. Like, I feel like I should be paying for some of these tutorials. They're so good. This website was also critical. And of course, you know, Apple's documentation was also very helpful. Someone asked, is it possible for someone to learn how to code by building an app? I think it is possible for, to learn how to code from building an app. And I feel like it would be a very enjoyable process to learn how to code from building the app. So I'd really recommend you check out that Stanford iOS development class. I had a lot of fun learning with that class. Someone asked, how many people did I have 
have on the team it was me my husband was a important piece of this process like i couldn't have done it without him my sister was also really helpful in providing marketing tips the email list idea was her idea i did not even think to do that so those people were very very critical as well as friends who beta tested the app providing feedback telling me okay this isn't working well this isn't working well that was really helpful for me what tools languages frameworks did you use to build it i'll leave all the tools languages frameworks to the side of the screen so you can see everything i used to build this app how much time did you spend planning versus executing i spent a lot of time executing over planning and that was intentional because once you have the idea you just want to see how far you can go with it because if you spend too much time planning you're not going to want to finish the project so for me it was really really important to focus more on execution than planning that's why immediately creating the paper mock-ups took maybe one or two days then jumped into mvp stage then passing along the mvp and the mock-ups to the designer and from that jumping immediately to the design implementation stage and getting it out as soon as possible so it's much more important to execute than to plan and that caused some issues especially not finishing the stanford class meant that i spent a lot of time executing and dealing with very small bugs as someone who with more experience could have fixed but ultimately it was good because we have a finished product in 90 days so thank you guys so much for your support and i hope this video was informative please make sure to check out the app down below leave any questions you have down below as well and thank you guys for your support throughout this entire building journey it was so much fun to build this project and to share it with you guys i hope you check out offline and i'll see you guys in the next video Thank you.